Hello and welcome everybody back to Vinica Fun Gentleman Wolf Elf NO 1404 Venice and the Imperator scenario. And yeah, I'm a little fed up. A little bit fed up because, well, this is now the third time I'm trying to record this episode, but apparently every time I try to move an army, there is a chance that the game crashes. So I put some thought into the decision Just that I made now. I mean this could have been such a great siege. I had already conquered this area, this area, the fortress, and so on. But to no avail. If a game crashes, I can't do shit. And that is that is actually really frustrating because it means that I cannot use many of the game's internal features in order to actually win the game and do the scenario properly. So I will now try a different approach. One that is way slower. I would try to buy her out. And after this, also to buy out Giovanni. If that does not work as well because the game continues to crash, I am going to end this series. And I'm really serious about that. I mean, I love NO1404. It is my favorite game of all time. It really is. But all these technical issues let alone the re uh, that we have to play on such reduced detail so that the memory leak uh, does not happen again. That's just... It shouldn't be the case. It's just really frustrating. That and it just makes me sad. Really, really sad. I like it. So yeah, I can't be asked with that anymore. Production. We will see how this all will turn out. Give us your orders! I will now start disbanding my troops. Is there here a way to do it? No, I have to manually destroy them. That will actually ensure that we save some money. I'll take what I am owed. <laughs> See, that wasn't so hard. I will teach you to treat a lady of high standards. Yeah, yeah, fuck you, Constanza. As I said, I will get rid of most of my armies so that I have only the bare minimum so that she cannot uh, conquer these areas back. And now we will see. Yeah, what I have seen so far over the course of the um, previous attempts of recording this episode was that we were actually making good money. So there is actually a good chance to buy her out in long term, but it will take a while. I cannot stand the sight of you. Take control of this city. I will probably just go somewhere and just produce siege yours. engines. This is the most outrageous insolence. Yeah, fuck you, Constanza. I'd be happy to help you. That's actually a good idea. We would. And this island here is perfectly suited for it. Yeah, we'll probably just go here, create a good production for siege engines, and then we should be able to make a shit ton of money. <laughs> I'm such a genius. Okay, um, what I will need for that is a large trading ship. Though, unfortunately, we don't have that. We don't have the ropes for it. Okay, then this is control group one. So that will be the siege one. I will stop with the production of siege engines here on the city. And we will also have ropes have again. Seen the way that knight knocked his Okay then, so we are currently in the positives by 20,000, that's okay. Alright, we want to save some money, so time to get rid of all the buildings that we don't need. We're ready. Okay, that is a bit too much, I guess. 
so that should work, right? How much does siege engine production cost? It even costs glass. Why am I not surprised? Well, I will also get some glass. Okay, and as I said, if this approach also fails, I will stop. I will stop with this series. It's the absolute limit. Well, if this settlement satisfies your simple requirements. Oh, Giovanni, why don't you stop being pissed? I mean, this wasn't your island, anyways, and we all know that you actually love me. I also, there's this important quest also there's still the help. discussion going on um, what the follow-up project actually will be um, of this series. I mean, uh, there have been several proposals, most of them only with one vote, so that makes it really hard to decide. Um, I have a close uh, one I most sympathize with is uh, another season of Anno 2070. And yeah, there has also been a request for a third season of City Skylines. And if you give me some special rules that I might uh, have to play it, the has then this might actually be an interesting, interesting proposal. Because well, it it would just be weird if um, oh, oh, weird, not really weird. But uh, yeah, it wouldn't just it just wouldn't work out properly if I would just do the same as in the previous past season of City Skylines. But yeah, other City Skylines or Anno 2070 or Stronghold Crusader. Those are the proposals that I at the moment like most. So if you have any additional input on that or something completely new that I never heard of or that I at least didn't think of. And you can of course also write that down in the comments or discuss with me on Discord. Okay then. So for war machines we need wood. Right, yeah, requires wood and ropes. Additional to the hemp. I wonder what the ratio between um, hemp plantations and rope rope Don't workshops are. Don't let success go to your head. <laughs> How dare you contradict <laughs> uh, me? No, me lady. You're not gonna get a piece of not rope workshops, rope yards. What the ratio is? I'm torn between one to one or one to two. Difficult. Really difficult. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Time to ruin our cre our gold balance again. I was about to say credit balance, but uh, this is not Anno 2205 or Anno 2070. Oh yeah, that is also something that has been requested. A fifth season of Anno 2205. I mean, I could do it. I just ran out of ideas what to do. In Anno 2205, I mean, we have basically reached everything there is to reach in that game. We have played on the highest difficulty, though not really successful, since, well, A good deal is the game systems were unstable change. and I couldn't be bothered anymore. Uh, we have tried to build beautifully, though, to be fair... I ended that season come. a bit early because I lost I totally lost interest again. To
profitable in more ways than one. Okay, of course I placed that one wrong. So that works for me. So here we now also have wood required by the siege workshops. Uh, that is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do that one. Right. Well, we might actually need additional tools. Alright, and there was also a quest for Aza here. That will not really take a while to get the roughly 500,000 that we need oh, to get rid of here. Of you to disturb me like this. Can I notify the goodness gracious me? I must tell the Sultan right away. Oh, okay. How could you do this to me? A nice yeah. item whatsoever. I don't care. And I guess I would go with a building ratio of one to two first, and if I notice that we have a way too big hemp production well then I can still scale it up a little bit. But hey, oh wonder, the game hasn't crashed so far because I didn't try to move any armies. Oh, seriously, I just wish Ubisoft would, have made, uh, would make an HD remake of NO1404. All they had to do was convert the entire game to a 64-bit engine. The graphics are still nice on maximum details. The game design is still superior. Okay, there are some minor things that could be fixed. For example, that quest texts are not being shown in the international version of the game. You know, for every small quest, there are actually stories behind it and so on. They just uh, haven't been localized. Why was I doing that? So many mistakes. Okay, this looks ominous. And I didn't do it on purpose. That is now way better. Of course, there's now the time to create siege engines. Come on. Alright, I see. That's uh, That kind of stuff costs gold. Quite a lot, actually. And as we noticed, I already ruined our gold balance. A fair trade. A good I'd trade, since it gives me money. I accept this trade. Okay, and you guys are running out of ropes. Production has been disrupted. Giovanni controls the council, controls the city. I thought we were friends. Or does friendship mean nothing to you?
that fucking traitor. Okay, so apparently we need two rope yards for one of these. Can it be? Unsure, but we might also need one additional... Alright, totally forgot that we still have these here. Uh, we might need one additional wood layout. Okay, now we should have enough wood. Uh, again, an enemy henchman. Do you fancy a thrill? Then be off with you. Yeah, yeah, he will be found by my people. Okay, it doesn't actually seem like a 1 to 2 ratio when I'm regarding those numbers. More like a 50%. Um, so 2 to 3, or 3 to 2 in this case. That's interesting. Also, I might want to build one of these. And here 1 to 2 ratio was apparently the right decision. A source of raw materials will soon dry up. <sighs> okay, time to bribe the mountain again, if that makes you happy, whatever floats your banana. So here a few more one two three four one of your plants has stopped producing goods an enemy henchman's hideout has been discovered yep you are very much as to my life. I said. It would be discovered quite quickly. Uh, we are now mostly fine here. <coughs> but mostly is not good enough. I might also want to build here later our main iron production. For tools and so on, to get more space on our capital island. I mean, yeah, that is a district that we actually don't really need. We don't even need those layouts here. This could all be city area. First rate. One day. Well, look at that. We are finally making our own ropes. So what I will now create here the engine for the, the trade route for siege engines. By the way, what was that? Oh, that was here. Perfume. So, yay, we captured the trade building. Isn't that marvelous? Goodbye, we don't need you. And... One can't help but wonder if your ascension is more than a mere passing phase.
Okay, so an emblem. We will load in those. We are unload them in gold ford. That is interesting. It looks here a bit different. Yeah, we have way less goods available. That's interesting. I never really paid attention to that. An enemy henchman has been seen in your settlement. <sighs> of course. But there he is. I'm also actually thinking about increasing our coffee production over here. A fellow player has taken over a settlement's council. Now go you forth, good people, and praise the wonders of our lord. Two players are at war. Okay, now I need to be really careful. Otherwise, Giovanni is going to buy out our island. That fucking treacherous bastard. I will not I let him do that. What you're looking for. You've got a good deal there. Your influence on this island grows with every council seat. It's a shame that this was necessary. Salam alaikum. This is an honor as always. Also, they are both trying to buy seeds on my capital. I mean, I can understand that the Baronessa is trying to do that, but Giovanni, my close friend? How dare he? Think, Giovanni. Let me give you a hand. Ah, all of this iron stuff that we could use over here. By the way, if I recall correctly, we have an abundance of furs. So a bit too much salt, so... That here might actually be useful. Just a theory, though. Okay then. Don't uh, put up a fight. Now you can tell uh, That was so clear that you also want to have something. So yeah, this entire episode really was not good for the purse. I mean I wish I could like just conquer speech? her, but Game says no. And I will probably continue to complain for the next couple of episodes. Because of that bullshit. That just shouldn't be a thing. That's completely oh, sucking the joy out of. For fuck's sake. Everything costs money. <laughs> and here Giovanni has his beautiful castle. That's still not finished. The person you were looking for could not be found. Well then, we have three more islands to go for this quest. Really, we only get 4,000 gold coins for that. The person you were looking for. Oh, look, we are losing money. What a surprise! Uh, maybe I should actually use the wares calculator in the future and see how much production we really need. Production has been 
and rely more on taxes than on actual Your water supplies are running up. That is very bad timing. But you okay. Can always be sure of a hospitable welcome here. I am authorized. The person you were looking for has been found. Well, one day the siege engine trade route will be profitable. I mean, we are already halfway through. You have found the person you were looking and then it will be a nice steady income. An enemy henchman is causing trouble in your <sighs> And why do they have to do it simultaneously? It's just like we are speaking with each other. Hey! Do you know what Felix actually likes? Hunting henchmen. That's his main hobby. You've got a good deal there. You really did what I asked. The end result matches your abilities. By the way, we should have here some carpets that we can sell, right? Yep, seems like we do. One of your plants has stopped producing goods. So, time to sell these carpets. A <sighs> good deal. Ah, you come to trade. A good deal. Yes, and I have come to make some money because I want to get One rid of a Baronessa. By the way, how much do we get for 25? That should be roughly 3,000 per run. You shall hear from me. I hope that it pays off in long term. So what will we do in the meantime? I mean, we could, of course course start producing mead but then the question is again where yeah, I'm pretty sure the island of uh, Baronessa would no it's actually not a good spot for that because she has no salt also produce here more fur coats and sell them One of your plants has or save that all for leather for fuck's sake remember everything can be bought even the venerable council i hate vi i really do but well, you guys voted for me doing the scenario, so I will do it. As long as technology works. Okay, those are now all running at 100%. You've got to be shitting me. Yep. Print screen. And it's going over my production island. I guess it is now the time where I say goodbye and see you in the next episode where I will fix the trouble that this tornado is creating. As always, I hope you liked it and see you next time in episode number 30.
Bye.